Yo, it's Steven. If you've been keeping up with me, then you'll probably know it's been a minute since I made a YouTube video. But I'm back. And to be honest, on this channel, I really just want to like be able to just show you guys my process. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I've been posting reels where I pretty much just show you guys like how I make beats. But I know that there's a bunch of you guys that just really just want to see like my actual full length process. So pretty much I'm just going to be cooking up on here, making shit, just having fun with it. Honestly, I don't really have any expectations for this channel. Today, I'm kind of in the mood to make like a weird beat. I've been listening to the Black Panther album a lot and they have like these like crazy distorted drum machine type of sounds to them. So I just want to go for something in that world i'm also going to be using by the time this video is out it might not be out but i'm going to be using me and cryptic's new kit if you guys don't know who cryptic is i'll pop up his at <coughs> right there we're working on this crazy drum kit it's honestly the, the craziest sounds i've ever made so yeah i think i'm going to start with like a weirder bpm i don't want like a regular 140 so i want to go to like somewhere in like the one 110 to 120 so yeah, I'm just going to start scrolling through these sounds. I peeped he put some new sounds in here too. So I'm about to peep these real quick. That's good. I get a bunch of DMs about this. I literally just put Fruity Limiter on my master and then go to this preset right here. And that's all I do. I don't mess with any of the settings. I don't put any sort of EQs. So yeah, I don't touch it. That's a crazy kick. What the f***? Maybe slow down like to one twelve. I'm really just going for like an unorthodox bounce. Like I want to have like some weird hi hat sound too to throw in here. Like some shit like that. Something like that would be perfect actually. And then just mess with it a little bit. If you go here and you go to slice mat, no matter how long you stretch it to, it'll make it sound short. I have like a weird roll here. If you guys want to make like weird ear candies type of rolls, make a super fast one and then just mess with the velocity. So like, probably gonna go up and then down for the second half of it. And make it even quieter. I'm going to also offset it a little bit just to make the kick hit a little harder. The drums are pretty much done. I can already kind of rap over it. Once the bounce is there, for someone to have some sort of like lyrics on it, that's pretty much when I just stop. Cause I don't want to add anything that just takes up like space for the artist. All right, since I wanted to make a beat from scratch, I'm just gonna start off using my Cradle Prince Bank. Basically, this is like a bunch of sounds that I just made for like my own personal collection. They're available on Drumify too, but I'm just gonna scroll through. I wanna find like kind of like a texture E sound just to like layer over top. I feel like a beat like this doesn't really need like a distinct melody. Kind of reminds me of Modern Jam by Travis, just like the, just like the rhythm of it. I want to have some sort of chopped element to this because I know in, in a lot of beats like this, like Timbaland, Old Timbaland, Pharrell, they have some sort of like vocal chop or like some sort of chopped element, just so it's like melodic but also like a cool bounce. So I'm gonna just find like a little lick. I 
this vocals fire but i want to have i want to put that distortion plugin on again and then there's this preset i like called i think it's evil frog in my guitar nah yeah this one Just because these chops are so short too, I'm gonna throw some delay just so they're not like so short. Simple fruity stock. Dun, uh, uh, that was kind of hard. I'm not really messing with this first synth I put down. I wanna try some like actual chords, so I'm gonna just solo these two for now. Here, I'm just gonna add like a sub bass resound for a breakdown. I think all this really needs now is arranging and my thought for when arranging this is I kind of wanted to structure it like modern jam by Travis I just wanted to start with just straight drums and then it kind of just develops and builds up and then has like a crazy breakdown and then it goes right back into the drums <laughs> this needs is like another counter melody so i'm gonna pull up my prince bank called yukio <laughs> If you guys don't know about this plugin called IR1, you should definitely get it. It's by Waves, and I like this plugin a lot because it has this preset called Pure Convolution. And yeah, it's fire. It's just like a cool reverb. I like putting on a lot of different sounds. <laughs> I haven't done this since like early 2023, but I think I'm gonna try putting my tag on this. It's just like an elephant with a bunch of reverb, and then just pitch it to the key of the beat. So as you guys can see, my mic died as I was doing the outro, but if you guys want to check out any of the stuff I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, go follow my Instagram. I'm also going to put a link for y'all down below to my Drumify page, which is where I put all my kits and sounds if you want to go download that. And yeah, if you guys want to see any type of videos from me in the future, definitely leave a comment and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.